Hello everybody, today we are going to be making a shoulder armor piece. This is what I got. Now, it's not exactly what I planned, but it's still really good. And I've got most of this done, but I still need to do is paint it. And then I'm going to buy Gambison, or whatever it's called. And um, it has holes on the side where the sleeves attach, so what I'm going to have... There's two holes right here, and it ties on right here, because that's how all shoulder armors are, pretty much. And then it'll belt on, and it'll be a move around. But you don't have to buy a really expensive thing. It's just, Gamerson is like padding that you put on before armor, it's also kind of like armor. It mostly just looks like a really padded shirt, like a snow coat. But what you still could do is just get a normal shirt or a jacket, and put two holes in it, and you got it. But I thought I might as well get something that's good and already has holes in it anyways. So, what it is, what I wanted it to be was both these pieces moved, but it didn't end up working. So this one is all one piece. This one has some movement, which is all the movement I really need. Because it'll go like this. I don't even really need that one to move either. Like, it's barely moving. So I still got really good mobility. So, yeah. So this is one piece of metal where I cut a little triangle out and then I bended it. I'll show how to make it. I won't be like showing the exact measurements of everything, but just to give you an idea. So this is riveted on with two nuts, and these are some belts I bought, they're actually for saddles, but they're like the only good strong quality belts that are really small. So what I did is a nail, a homemade washer, the belt, goes out the other end and the nail is hammered and riveted um, with a ball peened hammer. It's where you just hammer it. It was supposed to look like this, kind of bent, but it still works better. It's actually better and stronger. But it ain't going anywhere. And then... So yeah, this felt was just padding, because this part, when I move up, it was supposed to move, like I was saying, but it didn't. So it's just some padding for my arm. It doesn't actually hurt at all now. It's like completely fine. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So right here, you can see it's like a triangle, but right here it curves like into a circle. And I did, I folded the metal like that. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, um, I fold the metal right here, and then I sort, I didn't fold it all the way, but I kind of folded it up, you can see that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be making. And I've been saying in comments replying that I do want to do this for Halloween, since I'm on my own for Halloween, and I might as well. So I wanted to get the shoulders done before then. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. So... I'm going to be making the other one. I already got all the pieces cut out. Okay, so the main piece, because my grandpa or my uncle gave me some steel, it is kind of, it's not weak at all, but it's weaker. So you can see the color difference on my other one. It's like, there's a darker gray and a lighter gray. So the lighter gray is the one I bought, it's stronger stuff, so I wanted to make the main piece out of that. So that's what this is. It's mostly square. It's kind of a rectangle, but it's not a full square. And then I got these rectangles, two rectangles. So it'll be formed like this, and then like that. So that's what I'm making. I got these already cut out. I did it yesterday because most of the time it takes a lot of time to do it and I had to do it before night time because it's pretty much illegal to be banging like this so I did it before I, that happened so I got most of the cutting down already so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be making that
doing this project for two days. Well, so yeah, that last piece was actually yesterday, so now it's today, so yeah.